North Wiltshire is a land of contrast. It contains some of Britain's best known ancient monuments. It is largely rural and full of beautiful old world villages, but it was also at the heart of Britain's industrialization and parts of it remain at the forefront of commerce. In this film, we will be taking a tour around some of the many locations that have helped to develop it into the area we know today. We begin our journey in the west of the county, close to the Somerset border, in the pretty town of Bradford-on-Avon, which is said to have taken its name from its position on the River Avon, as in Old English, Bradford meant a broad ford. Although there is evidence of both Iron Age and Roman settlement in the town, its first mention in history is from the year 659, when Kenwall, who was the ruler of the Saxon Kingdom of Wessex, fought and won a battle at the ford against the native Britons. In about 700, Aldhelm, the abbot of Malmesbury, founded a small monastery here to help convert the pagans. It would last until the Reformation in the 1540s when Henry VIII dissolved the monasteries and made himself head of the Church of England. All that now remains of the complex is the stunning Church of St. Lawrence, although this was probably built towards the end of the Saxon Age when Ethelred the Unready granted the estates here to the nuns of Shaftesbury Abbey 